Hey guys, it's Jay from ASMR for Nerds. Um, I just felt like giving you guys a bit of an update on what's going on um, with the channel, maybe where I've been. Um, in my next video, I give you a little, a little idea. Um, but because of my prolonged absences, I just wanted to make sure you guys know what my plan is, what I'm up to. Because although I know it's not the most serious thing in the world if I don't make a video, but um, as someone who every night watches my favorite ASMR content creators, um, when they go away for long periods of time, you know, I start to wonder when they're going to make another video or if they're ever coming back because sometimes people just disappear and don't come back. So. Um, that is not my plan. I plan on sticking around. Um, I just ran into some, a ton of work uh, at work. Um, I have the restaurant and two food trucks, which um, has been extremely busy, unexpectedly busy. Which is a good thing, but uh, just also while I explain what's going on, I figured I'd give you guys some visuals. <laughs> and I was gonna flip through this a couple of Ninja Turtles trades, just because I like the art and the story isn't that great. So I'll probably never plan on reading them to you. Um, it's a good story if you like the Ninja Turtles, uh, but this is not something I plan on reading with you guys. So I figure we just look at it while while we chat. Um, so yeah, other than being busy at work, um, I, s uh, I just recorded another video, so I said it in there, but I'll say it here too. Um, there was this, um, bird's nest that was right outside my window of my apartment, and they are just so loud. Um, and every time I tried to make a video in the limited time I have, they would be screaming. Um, so, it's just been very difficult to get videos done. So what I did was I paid for someone to come and, and move them and put them somewhere else. Um, there's always the chance they'll come back, but I'm hoping not because it wasn't cheap. Um, and I did that just so I could make the videos because other than these, I don't mind birds chirping. So it's one of those un unexplained, intangible things that cost money when making these videos. Um, now with that said, I was going to talk about the Patreon I have. Um, I'm going to stop that because it just wasn't very... Um, nothing against you guys. Um, I understand that there's a lot of free content on YouTube and, you know, a lot of people don't have extra money, so, um, I'm just gonna take that down. Um, however, there are some things I really want to do, uh, with this channel that I can't necessarily afford. Um, one of those things is looking at some very classic comics, um, like, for instance, I really wanted to get a copy of Silver Surfer number one and actually do a flip through with it, uh, read through with it with you guys, because I know a lot of people who have issues that are worth money will never open them and read them, but I really wanted to get some of them and open them and read them with you guys. So I wanted to take a new approach and uh, go either the go probably the GoFundMe route where uh, I'm gonna see if you guys are interested in that. Um, if you're not, that's fine. If you are, uh, if, if everybody chips in a bit, um, we could get our hands on some classic comics and actually open them up and flip through them and not be afraid of ruining them because although they will live in my collection afterwards, uh, every time you flip through an old comic, they do lose their value um, somewhat, so. Um, so that's my plan. So for instance, Silver Surfer number one runs for about 
250 to 300 dollars so i would set up a gofundme for about that amount and if you guys are interested and want to throw in a dollar or five or ten or whatever um to help me out i would greatly appreciate that and um you will absolutely see the results of that when i get the issues and we could look at them um I thought that might be a better approach because it's not like I'm necessarily looking for money for myself. Um, I really want <clears throat> to do some things with the channel that I just can't afford, so. That's my plan, and if that doesn't work, that's totally fine, too. And we'll just continue reading stuff from my collection. Um, I'm also going to start putting up some polls so you guys could do some voting. pick two or three, let's say, different books or story arcs, and let you guys pick which ones you want to check out. Um, other than that, some things I'm looking to do in the future. Uh, I want, the main thing I want to do, <clears throat> which I keep trying to get around to, but it's kind of a more time-consuming thing, is uh, I want to take out my whole collection and go through my whole comic book collection with you guys. Um, it's a pretty sizable collection, mostly modern stuff, but I do have some classic Supermans and, and some older Daredevils and other things. kind of like obscure characters like Dazzler and Sleepwalker. <laughs> That's, I have some old ones like that. Um, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe 15 boxes worth. Um, so we're probably going to have to split that up into several videos, which I'll be happy to do. Um, and I'll just show you guys the issues and maybe some recommendations and how I store them and what I decide to keep, and I do a little selling on eBay, and you know, just talk about my comic collection and how I organize it, and different phone apps and software too. So it's a whole, it's a whole hobby. Uh, if any of you are looking to getting to start your comic collection, you know, maybe seeing how other people do it might be a good way to get inspired. I, uh, I watch an ASMR artist called Chicho, who uh, has a lot of great comic book videos, and uh, he has a couple where he just goes through his collection, and those are my favorite, so copying him on that one. Um, another, uh, I guess, shout out I'll give to comic book ASMR. He was gone for a bit, but now he's back, and he is extensively going through the DC Rebirth. Um, I don't, I don't plan on doing much reading of that with you guys. I am buying them and reading them, and, and I'm, I'm into it. Um, I'm showing you guys some in a video coming up that I just filmed today, um, where we go through a couple of Rebirth titles, but. He is doing a read-through of them, so if you guys want to check out what's going on with DC's Rebirth, I would check him out. It is uh, just Google or YouTube search. Comic book ASMR, and his icon looks like a, like a, a guy in a Venom costume. Gotta scroll down a bit. It's on the first page, I believe, if you search that. Uh, but he does a great job. What else? There's nothing much going on other than that. Work and uh, trying to catch up with these videos. I got so much I want to do with you guys. Oh, more stuff I'd like to do. Um, I definitely want to do a read through of Madman with you guys. Get some indie comics in there. And he's kind of, Madman is kind of the, uh, the godfather of indie comics, I think. Some would say. 
the spawn would be. But uh, not my book. I think Mad Men <clears throat> is the most important indie comic of all time. Um, other things I want to do with you guys. Um, I'm so behind on my comic book movies. I still have not seen Civil War. I still have not seen Batman for Superman, although I heard it wasn't very good. Um, after Ant-Man, I kind of got sick of Marvel movies, which is why I didn't run out to see Civil War. But I will definitely see it. And uh, I was thinking after I see Civil War, I'll also see Batman and Superman <clears throat> and maybe do a reaction video. Because, uh, I don't know, I find my opinion is often a bit different. So maybe I'll have a little different take on it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll hate it. I hope not, because, you know, I love Superman. Um, other than that, oh, Comic-Con. So this year, um, I also do, um, so I'm an illustrator, and I do, uh, I'm currently writing, creating my own comic right now, which is extremely time-consuming and difficult. Uh, it's my first time putting together an actual comic, but because of that, uh, I sent my work in and I got professional passes to the New York Comic-Con in October. And I was thinking about, uh, I assume a couple of you might be there, and if you are, maybe we could, uh, get together, walk around a bit, chat, whatever, um, which I think would be interesting, um, kind of break through the wall that we have between us. Uh, I was thinking, I was hoping they would give me two sets of passes, and I would have done some sort of contest to give away some passes, but they only gave me one, and unfortunately. If any of you guys plan on going to Comic-Con, mention that in the comments. Maybe we can hang out a little bit. Might be weird. I don't think so. It might be. Maybe. But it's fine. I find that uh, forcing yourself to do weird things like meet strangers from a YouTube channel to hang out with at Comic-Con for an hour doesn't sound too... Uh, I guess that's about it, guys. I just wanted to give you an update, um, let you know where I'm at, what my plans are. Um, if those birds stay away, I'll be able to do the video, one to three videos per week. I'll be able to commit to that again, um, which I'd like to. Because uh, like I said, I, I have my own ASMR artists I watch every night. and you kind of, I understand how you kind of... Uh, grow attached to there's a comfort in knowing that there are new videos coming for you to lay down and go to sleep to or whatever it is so um, I'm definitely aware of that and I appreciate that some of you guys choose this channel as one of your go-to's for relaxing um, I hope I some help to some of you guys and I hope maybe some of you have gotten into a couple of comics because of this that's my hope um, another thing I was interested in doing is a, a comic book podcast either ASMR or not I feel like an ASMR comic podcast might be a little too niche but it might be interesting a thought, but that's down the road. Alright guys, uh, that's it. Um, you'll probably see a link to the GoFundMe on here. Um, and I'm going to start with Silver Surfer number one, because that is one I've always wanted. And it would be 
a beautiful gift. <laughs> um, if we can make that happen. And uh, I'd love to flip through it with you guys and take our time and read it and, and you know, experience that little bit of history together. All right, uh, that's it, guys. So I have two more videos I filmed today that are coming out today and the next day. So you'll have some stuff to watch. And uh, I will continue putting up videos, I promise.